Hello Friendly fans! Last week we were working on the Ponies of the Dark Water limited time story. It was one of the short stories. For the second phase, my reward was the Dark Water Springs. I'm going to put them right here. There we go. And for the third phase, I only had 7 hours and 24 minutes left to complete it, so I was not able to finish that limited time story. But let's go ahead and finish up the storyline. Well, after all we've been through today, let's do our best to get everything back to normal. Okie dokie! Hey, once we get rid of all the dark magic in that hot spring, dibs on testing it first! But only if Twilight dives in with me, okay? <laughs> it's a deal. With my leftover sapphires, I got 10 gems. This morning, I downloaded a new update and we started a new limited time story. This one is full length. It's called Reflections of Harmony. Reflections of Harmony limited time story is new. We've added extra strategy and extra fun to the quick time battles. And it looks like some of the ponies from the past are available during this limited time story. Oh, how great it would be if we could see Fluttershy again. I miss her dearly. If only we could meet again. Welcome Fluttershy. I guess this is a new storyline. But I finished this a long time ago. Huh, huh. Every pony, I came as fast as I could. The minute the cutie map summoned me, I knew exactly what it was about. The Pony of Shadows has returned and, uh, why are there 18 of us here? I thought the cutie map maxed out at six including me. Oh no, I am so stressed out. I've started seeing triple again. No, I'm afraid not. Whatever the problem we face today is, it seems it's grave enough that the pillars of old Equestria have been called to address it along with you all. Yeah, and my head just started glowing for some reason a couple of hours ago, and so did everyone else's in my friend group. So here we are too, I guess. What is this again? This gallus is just short of 20 creatures brought together to confront an Equestria-threatening, possibly trans-dimensional malevolent entity, and me researching how exactly we're going to do that. Alright, I have a gift of 30 gems. We have a little trailer here. There's Stygian. And it looks like the pillars of Equestria are yelling at him, and he's very sad. When it seems like everyone is against you, and now he's turning evil, revenge is not what you need. We've got some lights floating, and the Tree of Harmony is there. And it looks like it destroyed the Pony of Shadows, and Stygian falls out. And it looks like it's Starlight Glimmer. Friendship is... Okay, so this probably will be a story about Stygian and the Pony of Shadows. Here's a little quick overview of how to fight the boss battles. Alright. Fluttershy's back in town. I'm the happiest dragon in all of Equestria. And every critter, big or small, is so glad to see her. Our first task is to send Twilight Sparkle to figure out what's going on. That's going to take three minutes. And let's go ahead and collect from all of our shops here. Alright, Starlight is done trying to figure out what's going on. The Pony of Shadows? He was hard enough to handle once. I hope Twilight's figured out how we can deal with him this time. Alright, we get some bits and experience points and I'm not sure what this rainbow colored orb is yet. Okay, I think I have some idea of what's happening. We are three groups of six creatures each, summoned to the same place. We might all be harmonizing with one another somehow. And if I read this scroll right, we can enhance that harmony by splitting up into six different teams, each one with a creature from the past, the present, and a future generation. That strategy, working together and playing to all of our strengths, 
could be the only way for us to defeat the Pony of Shadows before his power grows to be too much to handle. Hmm. It's a well-thought-out plan, Twilight Sparkle. And the underlying magical theory is sound. But if all 18 of us will be in the field at once, so to speak, how will we be able to act with any degree of coordination without the situation descending into chaos? About that. I already have a point pony in mind to make sure we all stay in sync with one another. And, bonus, she's uh, pretty familiar with extra-dimensional threats, too. Okay, we have a community tab. And, ooh, we have seven potential opponents here. I have three unlocked. Okay, they've made it a little more difficult. Our arrow moves around. Okay. I'm not sure I like this. Okay, these are the Light of Friendship. I'd say it's better to try and get them on its second pass, not all at once. Oh gosh, that makes it go faster. Huh. Okay, so the magnets give you everything on the screen when you hit it. That's good. So try to hit the magnets. Alright, for this community tab, I'm going to see if I can get any more ponies. I'm going to go for the olden pony because she is times seven. And right now she's only 300 gems, so I'm going to go ahead and get her. And let's read her bio. There's the olden pony. Very scary. A scary old mare from a scary ghost tale. Her frightful demeanor makes ponies go pale. Alright. I'm going to collect from my shops here. Now we'll go back in. On the main story, we need to send Twilight Sparkle to recruit Starlight Glimmer. Friendship is magic! So, that will take three minutes. We're going to go back in and challenge the olden pony. And also, let's see if we could get one more pony. We have enough for the prudent friendship student, who is only 100 gems right now. Okay, and we have to build... The Friendship Campus Bungalow, and that will take four hours, so we won't be able to use him for the next four hours. But let's go ahead and challenge the Olden Pony. Alright, we got 1,400 Light of Friendship orbs, I guess. Okay. Twilight Sparkle is done trying to recruit Starlight Glimmer. Oh yeah! 
Starlight's a good pick for this sort of thing. She's super organized, and if she needs any help, well, I'm here too. Okay, let's claim that. All right, every creature. Twilight filled me in on the situation, and I'm all in. Is this communication spell working? Can you all hear me? This is Team Magic Leader standing by. I read you loud and clear, Starlight. As do I, provided you mean read in the oral sense, of course. There isn't a tome or scroll in sight. Hey, I'm just happy I get to be on Team Magic with you guys. Us Earth Ponies don't always get recognized for that sort of thing, you know. Well, that's about to change, Sandbar. With you guys working together to take the first run at the Pony of Shadows, we'll light him up in no time. Alright, so we have the unicorns here. Let's tap on our bag to collect our coins. And if you tap on your ponies, when the little circle comes up, you get some extra coins. We have to defeat 12 minions the first time here. Okay, and the boss is nearby. Let's see if we can level up our hero gear. And still tap on our hero. We should be able to do that one more time. Do we have any more taps left? Alright, so our recommended power is 10 and we have 23. So let's go ahead and fight the boss. And we have another one of these type of boss battles here. The Pony of Shadows looks very scary with these glowing green accessories, I guess. Okay, don't hit the magnifying glass with a minus sign on it. That makes your target smaller. Alright, so we defeated the first Pony of Shadows. And we get the Star Swirl poster. Hey, since when can the Pony of Shadows summon nightmares out of nowhere? That's cheating. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and place this. Once I clear out some space. Team Magic! My Danger Sense spell is showing a huge spike in hostile trans-dimensional creatures headed your way. Are you okay, Team Magic? Team Magic? Oof! We're okay, Starlight. But just barely. It looks like this Pony of Shadows can summon allies from all over time and space. Even ones we've already defeated. Y yeah, that swarm of unreconstructed changelings pouring out of the rift in reality next to him kind of clinches that theory. Okay, new plan. Team Magic, fall back and recharge yourselves. The rest of you, split up by team and handle one set of baddies each. Question from Team Kindness, there any chance the three of us could handle the changelings together? I've got plenty of experience communicating with insects. So do I. Well, mostly from being an insect a lot of the time. But if I could change myself for the better, I can help those changelings do it too. I agree. It's nice when three creatures can find common ground so easily, isn't it? Now, I'm not usually comfortable with anything you could all call battle cry, but in this case, Team Kindness! Approach those changelings with sympathy and understanding! Alright, so now we have to take Team Kindness and defeat this changeling boss. We have to do 47 out of 50 of those. And we can level up again. And I'm just going to work on getting some extra coins. I'll come back in a little while after we've finished these minions. All 
right, it's been about 45 minutes and it's time to defeat this changeling boss. So I figured out earlier, you're not supposed to hit any of the purple targets. Those are bad targets. And you are supposed to hit green ones. So I made a mistake. My total power is 29 and to defeat that changeling boss, I needed 38. So it looks like I'm going to have to level up a few more times. Let's go into the store. I'm going to buy the welcome bundle with Mage Meadowbrook and Rock Hoof and Flash Magnus. I have wanted the Pillars of Equestria for a while, but these are a little bit expensive. It's 19 real dollars. There's Mage Meadowbrook arriving in Ponyville, and I'm going to go ahead and tap on Flash Magnus. Now, when you make purchases with real money, you get VIP points. So that's why I have a VIP level 9. Let's go ahead and read Flash Magnus's bio. A legendary royal legionnaire lauded to this day for his bravery. When in Cloudsdale, do as the Cloudsdalians do. And let's go ahead and welcome Mage Meadowbrook. A pillar of old Equestria. Mage Meadowbrook is one of the greatest healers in the history of, well, anywhere. There isn't a disease she can't make disappear. Now we have to travel to Sweet Apple Acres to place Rock Hoof. He has a cool looking house. I love this. The ancient longhouse takes 15 minutes to build, but it looks like with my VIP points, I get to skip it for free. So let's go ahead and welcome Rock Hoof to Sweet Apple Acres. The legendary savior of his Earth Pony Village, Rock Hoof's example proves that smarts and hard work can win out over brute strength. Mage Meadowbrook bumps us up to a total power of 49 because she added 15. So now we can go ahead and fight the uh, second boss here, the Changeling. Okay, we're going to flash forward a little bit here because it's a slow battle, but we did finally defeat this changeling boss and we get Meadowbrook's Cauldron. Wow, I can't believe all those changelings metamorphized all at once, but I definitely believe those three helped them do it. I'm going to go ahead and place it in Ponyville. See, I knew if we just talked through our feelings and reached a consensus, We'd all agree that no creature has to resort to violence. I'm very proud of all of you. Uh, good job on converting all those changelings, Team Kindness, but we've got bigger problems heading in from the north, and I don't think we're going to reform them so easy. Oof, yeah, I read you, Team Loyalty. That is a whole lot of creatures of pure darkness flying your way. Are you sure you can handle them all? Psst, of course! Just because it isn't going to be easy doesn't mean we're not going to totally crush it. Right, guys? Yeah, I faced my fears once. Doing it again is going to be a snap. Especially with backup like this. Agreed, but enough chatter, friends. Phalanx formation, better row sigma. On my mark. Let's show these shadows the power of true teamwork. Well, now we have to defeat 45 of the Shadow Bolt minions, and that's going to be the end of part 225 of the My Little Pony game. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out JoJo's Science Show Kids Science. I love you, friends, and I hope you have a fabulous day.